Hey, good morning everybody. Uh, this is Organic Dairyman and uh, today is the last day of this dreaded month we call we call February. Yeah, um, yeah, so uh, I hope everybody's having a good day so far. Um, I am just um, out here in the shed right now to start up the loader tractor because um, the soybean meal um, that we ordered on Tuesday is coming. So it will, the guy, um, the speedy delivery guy just called and uh, he said he's going to be here <coughs> in a little bit. So. This tractor warming up here and uh, get the uh, get the pallet forks on and uh, get the speedy delivery guy unloaded. So yeah, and as you can see, it is not too bad of a day for the last day of February. So I guess the guy can't complain about today. It's not exactly warm, warmish, but it's still the sun is shining. Anyway, they gotta get these cords rolled up and uh, get the uh, pallet fork put on and get the soybean meal unloaded. There he is, speedy delivery. <laughs> He's here, and he was speedy. <laughs> I gotta get these pallet forks on and get him unloaded. Okay, guys. I know somebody from the power company just come out here. All of a sudden, when I get some, I want to read the power box, the power meters or something. I just want to make sure that they're working okay. So, Irwin up there, he's going to guide me into the uh, that bottom of the pallet here. It's going to work. Situation. Okay, guys, we got it. Oh, this thing be down to the ground really slow. <laughs> I don't think it's on the pallet fork. I think it come loose a little bit. Okay, thank you. And there goes Speedy. <laughs> well, I got that done, got the pallet on there, so good to go now. With that, I'm surprised it got here as fast as it did. So yeah, I'll um, I'll get back to you guys later. I think I found the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Hey, bunny.
<laughs> the rabbit looks a little scared. Surprised that uh, I didn't move. Yeah, I'm just getting ready to uh, feed these guys out here again. Yep, that's what I'm up to. Boy, I tell you, this is sure a mess. Right over here, I just got done loading the feeder wagon here for the cows, and or the um, putting the, ha the the halage on for the cows, and I was just cleaning up here because it was a nice day out. And man, I tell you, it's all the snow that's just drifted up here on the sides. Oh, it's gonna be a mess once it starts melting. If this, we don't get this snow out of here, it's just gonna, boy, it's gonna be a mess. But uh, yeah, I'm just cleaning up the plastic here and kind of shovel some up. And it is just, uh, it's just gonna be a mess when, it, when the snow starts melting. It's just not going to be fun dealing with this, this ground in here. It is going to be soft as pudding once this stuff starts melting. I'm not looking for. I mean, I am looking forward to the snow melting, but yet I'm not, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I guess it has to happen. But. Ay, ay, ay. What do we have here? Yeah, a bunch of lazy cats. Yeah, you guys are just sleeping away your lives. Isn't there more to just sleeping all day, guys? Huh? What do you think, Sylvester? What do you think, Halo? You like sleeping? Huh, Ginger? Yeah, you guys. You Snickers. Sleep. <laughs> yep, and that's all those darn lazy cats do is lay around and sleep all day. Okay, everybody. Um, yeah, I'm just out here by the uh, Sioux grain bin, and uh, yeah, you saw we got the uh, soybean meal pushed in in the one building there, and uh, and we had to get a heifer in to breed, and uh, so um, my brother he just did that, and uh, yeah, that heifer I think she was serviced already. I don't know why we've had some heifers that have not, uh, we bred them and coming back in the heat. I don't know what the deal is if they're, yeah, I don't think they're, I don't think they're cystic or anything, but I don't know why, but yeah, anyways, um, yeah, I got that done and, uh, there's not much else here for the day here to do. Um, well, I guess we're done with everything other than that for the day, except for milking again. And uh, I just kind of wanted to show everybody how much, I mean, just kind of give, you know, show you a little bit more of the snow out here to give you a scale if you don't, anybody that doesn't realize how much snow is out here, um, decided to sh show you out here. Um, yeah, there's, <laughs> this is, there's a road in here. There's a road right in here where we always drive out to the field. 
out, out back out here and there's some volunteer trees and you can just see that there's an old um, flare box wagon there's one there that one's covered up that one's just about woken but yeah and there's a, an old horse-drawn manure spreader somewhere under here <laughs> it's just hard to believe how much stuff is uh covered up under the snow here oh man there's gonna be a lot of sagging wires oh i need snowshoes some snowshoes on is that i need yeah I and mean, just look at that man there's so much snow out here there's gonna be there's a slough or a water hole back out there and there's gonna be a ton of water back there oh there's gonna be water sitting around here there's the rest of that egg bag there oh man and these snow drifts they're just getting big <laughs> it's just hard to believe there's the heifers or the pasture fence boy what is these are some big tracks this must be some big this looks like dog tracks here I don't think they're coyote tracks maybe they're coyote tracks this is the size of the I don't know I could tell which way they were going it looks like it was going uh, it walked off that way it came it came up this way and walked over this way is the way it looked it walked out to the field huh there could be some coyotes. I don't know. I know there have been reports that there have been some some bobcats around here. They're not supposed to be here, but they cross from West River into East River, South Dakota. They come across the bridge. And I have heard reports of people seeing bobcats out here. Some people have caught it on trail cams and stuff. Yeah, all that fence there, it's that polyway. Boy, that is, is good. I thought we were gonna have to pull, fix all that. Um, yeah. <laughs> so here is out back. Oh, really calm out right now. It's really calm. There's another low spot right in there that's gonna be filled up with water. It's probably gonna drown out the alfalfa, kill it off. Oh, there's gonna be so much water when all this stuff melts. Yeah, these are the shelter belts here that my dad planted probably in 86, 85, 86, my dad planted these. This all used to be open here. None of these trees were here. The only shelter belt that was protecting the price before that was, was that one right over there. That was the only one. Even that stretch of trees right there my dad had that planted back in the in the mid 80s, early 80s. Yeah, same time he planted these, I think, just for a windbreak, you know, for soil erosion and things like that. My dad had that planted. Um, yep. Yeah, the sun just set a little while ago. So. Yeah. Oh. It is just unbelievable. I know I said we're supposed to maybe tomorrow night get uh, two or three more inches of snow. And then there's more chances. Somebody, uh, the, the speedy delivery guy, he told me this morning that he heard that in March we're supposed to get 40 more inches of snow. I hope, I hope to God he's wrong, man. I don't want 40 more inches of snow. So, oh man. I'm just walking over here looking at these these snow drifts over here are huge if we get any more snow in the wind they're gonna, they're gonna keep getting bigger I mean I bet you I'm four feet walking here now it's four feet off the ground wow I haven't been back here for a while oh that's just crazy well, I'm gonna quick show you guys this snow drift over here. And then I gotta go. I actually, I didn't get to town last evening to get that stuff. I'm gonna go to town to a farm store and buy that stuff to get that fuel filter because a while back I had bought and 
a different fuel filter housing to put on the fuel barrel and it uh, it just gelled up right away and we couldn't get fuel out of it so I had to switch it back over but I'm gonna rig it up so we get fuel out of there okay guys look at this I guess it's hard to do to gauge it I'm gonna set you guys down right here and I'm gonna walk up there and you can see what it looks like so I'll be back Yeah, yeah, that is, that's a monster snow drift here, man. There's a lot of water in there. I wonder how much water is in here. Yeah. Whew, dude, this is like by far the biggest snow drift that we've got on the farm. And here's the edge of it. <laughs> it's like a little cliff. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, I suppose I gotta go to run a town. And get the stuff. Oh, I gotta walk back. <sighs> I gotta walk back through all this now. Yeah, so, oh well. Um, yeah, so, anyways, everybody, um, walk down this thing. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, so I think that's going to be it for today. Um, just so everybody knows, we have not heard anything from the trucking company yet. That's supposed to come get our beans, and I doubt they're going to—they're not going to come this week. All there is to it. So I don't know when they're going to show up, but they need to come here and get those beans out of here soon. Okay guys, I'm going to go here, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And a big thumbs up to everybody that's taking the time to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate each and every one of your subscriptions so much. And, excuse me, <laughs> I want to win. And be sure to check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. And no, I haven't posted anything on there lately, but yeah. And uh, please share this video with a friend or family member. And uh, yeah, and we're going to see what happens here tomorrow. I don't know, maybe I won't even do a video tomorrow. I'll see if I get one done up tomorrow or not. I feel like I'm running out of things to, to do until spring's where it comes, but I guess. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like I say, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, take care. And uh, I will catch you later.